Hey, good afternoon. My name is Amar Jyot Singh. I'm talking to uh, one of the guests I invited from Ontario. Uh, this is regarding the recent uh, international uh, student fees increase and many students are protesting. And um, uh, because of this coronavirus, you know, students are, are required in universities and colleges. Um, but still, uh, due to lack of lack of enough students and lack of you know, filling up the gap in revenue, uh, universities are forced to increase the students. Uh, regarding this matter, I have invited uh, Kanvi Gupta. Kanvi Gupta, right? Yeah. Kanvi. I have invited Kanvi Gupta from uh, uh, Western University in Ontario to talk about this, this problem and what the students are facing. Uh, and uh, what is the current mood of students uh, in in Canada? So, can we uh, welcome to um, you know to to our chat? And I'm I appreciate that you took out time to talk about this. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, where do you live? Which university are you in? How did you come to Canada? Yeah, for sure. So my name is Kanvi Gupta, as you introduced, and I'm one of the students at Western University in London, Ontario. And I'm in my fourth year right now, so I'll be graduating next year, 2021. Uh, so, yep, and I live in London itself, but I'm basically from India. Basically from India. And, yep. uh, and what, what course are you studying here? So right now I'm in honor specialization in accounting. It's like how we have CA in India. So that's just one of the degrees you do before you go in that degree. So here it's called CPA. So I'm basically pursuing towards that direction. Okay, and you are an international student. Uh, what is your international student fees every year, uh, the annual fees? Uh, so basically uh, right now, so it said like every year it's supposed to decrease. So like, let's say I paid way more than what I'm paying in my fourth year for my first year, but technically they always increase fee every year. So right now for this year, I'm paying 36,000 Canadian uh, dollar for one year, which is for eight months. Two semesters. Uh, thirty-six more than thirty-six thousand dollars for one year of annual tuition. Yep. That comes to be close to about three thousand dollars a month. If uh, just a simple math. Uh, oh yeah, for sure. That's that's a. Uh, uh, did you expect this this amount this amount of fees when you came from India to study here, or is that something that you you already knew that this will happen, or was this a surprise for you? It was definitely a surprise, I would say, because when we, I remember talking to my agent and he was like, so like, you know, he gave me a fee structure, which had like all four years uh, fee. So which was way less than what I am actually paying in reality. That being said, it means like, for example, that time first year uh, student was paying, uh, I guess I first, in my first year, I paid close to 40,000, which now for students right now are paying around close to 56,000. So like it increases every year. So I, we weren't told, so like I know many of my friends, we were just told that this is a fee structure and that's what you are expected to pay. So regardless of even being asked, like, so there's a representative who's Indian in India for all the universities. I did reach out to him and I did speak about extra fees or any extra obligations. He did not mention any of these or did not even say like the fees gonna increase every uh, year. So it was the kind of a surprise, but to be honest, that time it's something like when you're outside your country, you you cannot like take really big steps because you are as foreigner in a different yeah. country. So that was a surprise, I would say. Yeah, uh, Kanvi Gupta was mentioned in the article on CTV News. Uh, uh, it's on website also, and perhaps on also on TV. Did they interview on TV as well? Uh, yes, yeah, so C uh, CTV, they had like an interview which was outside our college and it was broadcasted at the like the news channel as well as it was put on their website. And yeah, so. So you, al there. you also started to have an online petition to force, uh, you know, people to recognize this problem so that the universities can take some action. How much uh, how much uh, interest did you, uh, you know, was successful in gathering through the online petition? How many people signed on this petition? So to answer your first question, I did set this because I know many of my friends, they emailed colleges and like school authorities saying that uh, just because we are in the middle of a pandemic, we wouldn't be able to like pay 
uh, the fees what is like the regular fee so it's a request not to increase fees because to be honest not everyone is having like resources and just because every resource is shut down back home with like lockdown so it's very difficult for some of the parents to actually come up with this big amount so we literally got answers saying that there's nothing they can help us with so that time i started this petition online uh, initially it wasn't like it did not capture much of attention so we started with the interviews and we started all these things but eventually right now uh, i have 3 2300 uh, signs with which includes all the students from india as well as who are not in are not in canada right now and it's not only western it's people throughout the world because it's not like it's only western who's facing these uh, problems i know like i saw many other posts where it says like all the students worldwide are facing these problems and yet there are universities who did decrease the fee so my goal is to with my other friends of course i have like so many people working on this with me so with them i we are like planning to have at least by 2500 signatures before we send it out to our uh, president of university uh because of corona virus because of covid-19 uh do universities are feeling shortfall in the new admissions of students the 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 next batch of students is it is it fair to say that they are facing a reduced number of students to enroll for the for the next semester uh and thereby uh causing a shortage in the revenue for the whole year you are accounting major you study accountancy uh you know they have to balance the books they have to find out what is the source of revenue and if enough international students do not enroll because of corona virus or travel restrictions or something else then they will likely feel a shortfall in the revenue do you think that's happening less people are enrolling in this universities i personally think that's a very big a uh, thing that's impacting the revenue for the universities because for sure there are so many restrictions so people cannot travel back and forth and there are so many students who might have already enrolled but have been pushed through the time and they wouldn't be able to come back to september or like you know because of these things there are for sure less students who are enrolling for this current year but that being said i just personally think like that is for sure what is affecting their revenue and they have to look out for other options to be productive and to earn enough so that they can help out with their other expenditures as well as maintain the uh like you know there are other expenses but uh, i just personally feel like just because everyone is in the middle of a, is in the middle of a pandemic it's just not the right thing to do yeah. with international students because technically we are already paying around five times what canadian pays so that's not even exaggerated amount it's literally around four to five uh times canadian what a canadian student will pay and it depends on your courses and your majors of course but i think uh they are trying to like it's not like just only our fees is increased they did increase uh fees for canadian students as well but uh just if you see like my fees got increased by 5000 and for any canadian it would be way less what the increase would have been but ours because we have to face the conversion rate we have to face so many things so it's way more amount that we that any a canadian would be paying at any point so i think uh just because it's in the middle of a pandemic it's not about where you profiting it's more about human caring and like how you look out for each other not just students not just parents but everyone so i think uh while keeping in mind that yes they are facing they might have deficit like to be honest i personally think and uh, there could be cases where some universities because they have like you know spent so much on various resources are facing deficit but at the same time i do believe that there could be other options i'm not saying the only option is to reduce the fee but there are so many other options like giving us flexible uh pay payment options like not everyone would have 25000 by the end of certain day to be like to pay so i think giving a uh, flexible options anything like that would be very appreciable and helpful for students because we are not looking for any profits at this point like no one should be rather you should be looking out for students because i know so many students are there who just find it difficult because of the fee increase to even come back to the like you know even to come back for their studying so i think that's where everyone should be looking out for each other i'm not i'm not defending uh, their stance but you know just bringing out something um a fact which is prevalent all over the world uh as far as foreign education is concerned when somebody from most uh, people who come to canada most ha- nearly half of the people students who come to canada are from india Ch- india and china and then it goes down philippines vietnam and other things but the bulk of students 
no matter where they go, whether they go to Canada, whether they go to Australia, US, England, anywhere, all countries have this regime of three times the pricing. Uh, so it is not a surprise. Uh, let me let me just make it even even uh, uh, as as a as a point of fact uh, to mention here that when international students come to India, I am from you know I studied in Delhi University and I know there were a lot of international students who had come from Africa and Vietnam and Thailand. They were studying in Delhi universities and you know I have a journalistic bent of mine and I would like to you know, find out from them how much they are paying. And I can assure you that, you know, whatever the Delhi University students are paying, the foreign students are paying at least five to 10 times more. So the Indian government is also charging differential fees to foreign students. These countries are no different. Uh, all those foreign student population has been used as a golden goose. Uh, to get get the maximum out of them so that they can compensate with their other expenses. I'm not surprised with it, but what I am surprised it as um, because of lack of enrollment due to coronavirus, they decided to increase the tuition per head so that they can recover that last uh, lost expenses, which is which is bizarre because the law of economics dictate otherwise. If the uh, if, if the students students are less to enroll, we need we needed to actually decrease our fees further down so that we can attract more enrollment, which is the opposite here, uh, which of course it is. So, uh, did you consider you are in the Western? How did you choose Western University for this course? I mean, there are other universities which possibly are cheaper, or other colleges, uh, post secondary colleges, which may offer equivalent. How did you get to choose Western University? So answering with the first question, I totally agree with you. Like I was about to bring that thing up. Like no matter where you study in India, like I know I have so many friends who've been charged double what I would pay as an Indian. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's not about being charged five times. The, like the reason we all started together for this petition was not that we we are like, sad or we are taking it as an issue that you we are being charged five times what Canadian would pay because that's something it would make sense uh so our only request was that it's just we are everyone is in the middle of a pandemic people have lost life they don't have so like any source of income so not to mention but uh so like obviously I would say like so we don't have any help from uh, Canadian government. So not in a rude way, I'm just like mentioning facts. So not every international student would have that serve opportunity. Not every student is being, so not none of the international students is eligible for that student, uh, like the benefits they've uh, recently like oh, come up with. So I personally think like, just because we don't have any source of income or we, so we don't have any source of help from any side. So just a request that instead of thinking to recover money from, you know international students it's just a request not to increase fees so as i said like i wasn't aware so we did we i have paid like so much amount like as a fee which i was not even sure of so i'm like i'm okay with all those three years i've paid i have no complaint it's just because right now the situation is just not okay when everything is actually shut down back home it feels bad to like asking for your parents to like give a fee which is almost increased by five thousand which is an amount like if you would do a conversion it's an amount in india it's like pretty good like lakhs right so that's where it's a request like not to increase the fee and not just to look international students as a mean to recover the fee that would they would have been like you know getting it from other international students so i do understand all the uh, aspect i do understand everything like why they do certain things they do and it's not only Canada or my university, it's everywhere the same. But it's just a request, like instead of increasing it to 5,000, maybe decrease it to 2,000, 3,000, or like give us flexible options yeah. because it would just make it easier on us and not to impact or not to like put our parents in a position where they have like mental stress as well. So I think that's just a request, which I know would require so many authorities and decisions to come up with just to make a single change. So maybe not reduce if that's not a like you know a flexible option for them but then just to give us more options so that we can work out with our parents and make it easier on them as well and coming to your second question so for me to be honest i just graduated from my like i just did i passed my 12th grade when i planned to come to canada 
and my brother was actually very uh, like you know he wanted to come here so to be honest for me personally it just happened on its own i would say luck or destiny i don't know so i just happened to like apply to various colleges i did apply to um ubc and western and i did apply to quite a few so just by hearing from here and there and just because it offered the course i was interested in i ended up here so for me like i know there are students who might have their stories and like no. some sort of like things but for me it was just random that i just came to western because i knew someone who went to western and did talk highly of western so i was just like why not just let's give it a try so to be honest i was just very uh, straightforward and like i would say luck no. uh is it working out good so far are your grades uh, to the standard of what you expect them to be and are you working part time uh yes like so till now so obviously like first year i would say just because you've come to a different country where you don't know one and like you know it's totally different uh, environment so some people like it's been like obviously a ride where you just like see how things are actually done but over the course of four years you do realize like what do you want and how you want to like achieve your goals because like you're spending so much you've come away from your parents and your country so you really want to put in effort so touch wood like yes my things have been going good for me and uh, yes i work uh, as a part time job yeah uh, like i how, work at how many international like, students are here uh, at western close to what uh, 4000 5000 or more uh, oh i will say uh, including western and its affiliates as well as the iw it should be around 4 to 5000 like i guess more than that i'm not sure but yeah i can i think it's more than that. it's way more because i know like half of the international population as you said is either from india or from china so we do have like a lot of indian students who come yeah like to let me, let me ask you let me ask you a certain question about you know is the instruction at present online or do you having a classes meantime uh, most of the classes are in online or or uh, you are going to the physical class and and in the classroom so as of today like as of the last uh, announcement that came from a college it's been said like all the courses they will be a mix that being said it means not every class will be in person there will be most of the classes as like online but there are some courses which might require in person um like you know uh, in person classes so like labs and all that stuff they would be still with like minimum number they would still be in person so for me as far as i've registered i think almost all my classes are online i'm not sure because i don't have any labs i don't have any thing yeah. that would require in person attention so for me basically from accounting we don't have any in person classes so my whole semester or year is online so far uh if the if the uh, major emphasis on is on online education uh that also diminishes the need to increase the tuition because everything is through the computer everything is through the screen why why would they need to uh increase the tuition fees if there's no contact this is something that uh have you reasoned with them have you argued with them what do they say if you when you tell them this argument so this was one of the biggest uh base where we started the petition web saying that just because the classes have been moved online we strongly think that quality of education will not be the same like no matter how hard anyone can try and put efforts in but what you study online and what you study in person are two different things and they can never be same so no matter no matter how a professor says like oh i'm going to give my best or like the resources are same and like everything you would have been doing otherwise in person are same but it's just not like you know practically it's not so i think that was the main reason we argued like fees do not be increased because we should not be paying 5000 extra on an approximate uh, level just for online classes so when one of my when i gave the interviews with ctv with my other friend so they had a very straight up um, announcement where they said like they are maintaining the level and the quality of education and they are trying to uh give out scholarships for international students which will help them otherwise so that being said again uh with all due respect i just believe that half of the uh, scholarships which are at colleges are usually for canadian students so if you go online and because i've been doing that research so like almost every scholarship requirement is to be canadian or to permanent resident so when you have like 
let's say at a minimum like you have 4000 on uh, international students and you just have two to three scholarships it just it's not fair on our part like it does not give everyone a fair chance to get that scholarship like either you have to be top student like 90s or more or you have to be very competitive and to be honest not everyone is same not everyone will be good at study so there are people who might not be financially able to like help themselves so these scholarships would mean nothing to them so you know i just personally believe even though they say like they have scholarships and other plans in mind it will still not be able to match up with how students are going through right now because just by few students being given scholarship wouldn't help all international students so yeah it does not it does not so they, far. They, yeah they use the revenue from one segment to help the other people showing that they are justifying uh you know uh, recently the the canadian canadian immigration minister had announced uh, two stage uh, process of the study visa for for canada one is uh, for the students who are already in india right now trying to come to the fall session and it's an online system that they would get the approval and they will sit uh, in in india at the home online uh, what what did you think of that measure and what tip do you have for indian students who are preparing to come to canada in the next uh, semester uh i personally would say like it's very difficult and it's like it's all about adaptability and adjustment so you really need to be open to everything that comes your way because there will be things that you wouldn't expect while you are at, like while you are in india so to them i would just say like if you are the, someone who's doing all the classes by being in india you need to open yourself and change your way how you used to do things because they are totally different in india how we used to have in person classes and tests and like we used to have someone on our head to make sure that we are studying it's not the same here so even in colleges in india yes it's not the way but still it's so different like no one cares if you come to a class or not like you just need to maintain certain criteria to be able to pass or give an exam so you really you are the only one who's looking out for yourself so make sure you do everything because i just personally believe because if you're spending so much if you're coming so far away from your family you should be seriously giving best and you should be making most of it by achieving your goals and seeing your parents happy so to them i would say if you are in india you have to make yourself like you know open to changes and you need to learn so many things so be open to changes and just give your best because not everyone would be able to like not everyone would be okay but they have to give it a shot so everyone should be fine in the end yeah Uh, th- thank you thank you kanvi for your for the input uh, uh, friends if you are watching this uh, conversation and if you have followed so far the summary is uh, you should sign the petition this is on change.org uh, and i'm i'm showing this on the screen as well uh, kanvi gupta has explained the issue they want to stop the universities to uh, do a price hike on the tuition fees is not only western many colleges many universities are trying to increase the tuition so if you have not so far i see 2300 people have signed this and i think your target is 2500 uh, there are some people who have signed 49 minutes ago one hour ago or something and uh, maybe i should sign it uh, i'm just thinking i don't have excuse just to here that's it it does it sign here or do you have to fill up something or it just oh uh, uh, no so or you have to go and up. sign my yeah oh. you just have to give your name if you would like to and you just need to correct so i can so, do i can do chip in 8 dollars or yep. i can do i, I can you can do sign yep you can always like if you don't want to like chip in you can just like skip this part and you just need to sign in so let's see I'm if sure. i can sign it right now i can send 8 dollars no problem but i can i can let's see if if it works so uh, this is the way that everybody can sign in uh, this is on yep, so. um, this is all oh, we have to or oh, i think great choice we have to connect with the yep, some so. skip for now maybe so there's a lot lot of uh, connection with the uh, facebook and other things here in you know, social media but uh, nonetheless you should uh, decide to um, sign the petition the more petition they have the better chance they have to you know present it to their university staff and say look we have enough mass movement and and that's it so we have another lot of things to go but uh, nonetheless uh, can we gupta uh is uh, uh if you want to can we if you want to uh uh give them you know like 
uh, like uh, your contact information would you like to or maybe it is, it's not it doesn't matter for now yeah for sure like if anyone wants to reach out for anything uh, i will be like i they can message me on facebook because i think that's the easiest way to connect or linkedin so my name is as well like it's k a n v i and my last name is g u p t a so just feel free to like message me on linkedin or facebook or if you want like give me a message on like i message or like give me a call so my phone number is 6479149399 9, 9. so anyone who's who might be facing the same problem or wants to talk about something uh just feel free to message me and i'll be able to help as much as i can sure i i urge all students all international students especially from india uh wherever they are in canada whether they are in small college or big universities wherever they are if you are facing some kind of uh tuition hike in the in the next semester i think you should um, you know at the least sign this petition and you know do a little facebook group or so and connect with kanvi gupta so that uh, there could be a like a mass uh, you know like a momentum towards towards stopping this increase and who knows uh, you know they they might end up even uh, decreasing the fee hike or maybe cutting it in half or maybe uh, negotiating some other kind of payment plan or you know something may will come out and this is we how so. this is how democracy works we have to get this thing moving i i remember there was a, another problem that i was talking to somebody uh, there are a lot of uh, spouses of canadian citizens and prs waiting in india and other countries and because of uh, travel restrictions uh, yeah, they cannot come even though their application is approved and uh, we did a interview uh, for the government for requesting to have a special visa for them and after that interview there were thousands added to that and you know they are now talking to member of parliament and even to immigration minister now so you may never never know uh, this may come in the news uh, even pretty soon though so that's for it is uh, thank you very much kanvi uh, for your time and i wish you well in your future endeavor and the future pr uh, permanent immigration to canada Thank you so much for your help as well. Thank you. Take care.